Good morning, Coach. Good Taylor. morning. What you know, good man, other than Jesus. That's right, Jesus. <laughs> He's enough. Yeah, it's Jesus, it's Jesus, it's Jesus. That's right, yeah. And I'm Wayne Hudson. I'm Jeremy Tillman. Here we are with another coaching tip for the Christ life. Uh, Jeremy, just thinking today about Acts chapter 4 and, uh, and where it talks about Peter and John, they get in trouble with the religious yeah. crowd and they end up in jail and uh, they come back and they meet with the council. And they, they got this guy with them. You know, that's been healed. Mm -hmm. It's in the same passage where it says that they re they knew Peter and John, but they realized they had been in the presence of Jesus. And you keep on reading in that passage. It says in chapter four, uh, verse fifteen, it says, "But when they when they had ordered them to leave the council, they began to confer with one another, saying, What shall we do with these men?' Listen to this: For a noteworthy miracle has taken place through them, and it's apparent to all that live in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it." Now, I got a guy that's been healed, and that's obvious. Peter and John yeah. didn't heal him. God did. That's right. But he used Peter and John. Mm -hmm. So my, my thinking on that is this, is that God did something bigger in Peter and John's life that they were capable of doing themselves, which in the New Testament, we see that all the time, that it's the Jesus in us doing through us what we're incapable of doing ourselves. So don't you think that a lot of times in our lives individually and in church life, that we just settle for doing what we can do instead of really trusting him to do the impossible in and through our lives. And how do you how do you handle that? How do you how do you lead people to the point to where they say, We're gonna let Jesus do what he's capable of doing instead of us doing the limited things that we can do? Mm. Yeah, that's that's a that's a good point because I, I think we do. We live in, in such a I mean, it's such a, a society, such a culture where we love to have control. That's right. And uh, we, we love to, to do things that we know that we can actually do mm -hmm. out of our own strength. Right. And then, then then we play it safe when we feel like we can't do it. And at the end of the day, in, in God's economy, we can't do anything, yeah. you, you know, apart yeah. from, from Jesus. But, you know, as humans, we, we try to do, you know, we, we try to play it safe and do what we think uh, we can handle, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and going back to this passage, I, I think one of the things that is important is we so underestimate the power of God. We do, and, we and do. I think one of those things, to, one of those reasons is uh, is I, we we have a, a messed up view of who God really is, That's right. and, and so for us to 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 get to a point where we truly give ourselves to mm -hmm. the Lord. And allow him to do in and through us what only he can do. Right. We've got to we've got to align ourselves in a, in a place to where we're spending time with him, where we're getting a good, clear picture of who God is. Yeah. And I think that's one of the major yeah. things is what our, the biggest hindrance for, for for many of us is ourselves, yeah. because we are looking inward at ourselves and not looking upward to right. God right. and getting a good, clear picture that's of who, a, a who, who he, he really is. is. That's right. Uh, A.W. Tozer makes a statement in the book Knowledge of the Holy that when I think about God, what I think about God or when God comes to my mind, what I think is the most important mm. thing about me yeah. because it, it determines what happens in my life. Yeah. If I have a small view of God, I'll never that's trust right. him for the that's big right. stuff. You know, but here what we see is that Peter and John were willing to be used to do the impossible, mm -hmm. and that's where he wants to take us. That's right. So we would challenge you today in your thinking of how big God really is. He's the God of the impossible. Mm -hmm. And when we get people in the presence of Jesus, anything can happen. And in our life, the impossible becomes possible when we really trust him and we live life in his presence. So that's what, that's what we would challenge you with today. And the coaching tip is simply this. Let's let him be who he is. Let's don't limit what God desires to do in and through our life because we don't think we can. Let's trust the one who is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we ever dreamed or imagined. Have a blessed day. Walk with Jesus today. Trust him today. And let's allow him to increase our view of how big and awesome he really is. Have a blessed day.